Hello, 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 my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, powerful, anointed people of God. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. I am Apostle Claire Refield coming to you once more from this glorious platform of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from. I know we have international audience, so I try to greet everybody depending on their time zone. Today I am excited as usual because there is something upon my heart that I want to share with you, with you, with you, with you, yes, with you. And I know you're going to love it because I'm loving it already. So yesterday I came on this platform and we had a powerful session with the singles hallelujah we had a powerful glorious wonderful i see my sister online on uh, the great woman of god i'm going to call her prophetess kim shandwell god bless you woman of god so um today i want to talk again again and again to the singles yesterday was powerful and i believe today is going to be more powerful because as i continue to think about the different ways to help and support the singles god keeps giving me idea good morning my sister from the united states this is your sister from holland the netherlands we had a powerful broadcast the other day and she she like released some prophetic things and they just bam the next day everything that she spoke was coming out so you are going to be seeing more of her and myself on this platform hallelujah 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 so um today i want to speak to the singles about um some things that god's been placing upon my mind hard to give to the singles just to encourage singles to impart onto singles so just like reach out to singles and um, educate singles support singles and help them those who are ready those who are purpose and planned by god help them to find that person that god has ordained for them and we know that everything in god is a process hallelujah everything with god we are going to do something together yes 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 we are we are going to do something together because God is with us. Hallelujah. So um, while you are joining us and uh, joining me right now, I want you to be excited and help me to share this broadcast. Share it on your timeline. Share it with your viewers. Share it on your page, pages, your groups, because God is about to speak to the singles. So while I am waiting for, for all my friends to jump on this broadcast, I'm going to play a powerful song called more than i more than what i wanted is from our beloved sister and psalmist uh, minister cc waynans so enjoy it while i wait for our friends to come on board hallelujah it's called more than enough more than what i wanted I'm so excited. Jesus is coming soon. So, I'm going to wait for everybody to jump on.
God is doing so many great things and we cannot miss it. God is doing so many things. We really, really cannot miss it. I'm telling you. We are living in the best of times. Challenging in some ways, but at the same time, the best of times. Because God is moving with us. God is moving with His people. God is moving with His children. For those who pay attention, God is giving divine instructions. He's giving divine directions. Come on, somebody, let be excited with me. God bless you. I see you. Mommy Nani, she calls herself. <laughs> you are funny. I see you online. Help me invite people, share this broadcast. Amen. Oh, God is awesome. I am so excited when I think about the goodness of the Lord. I get excited, so excited about what God is doing, what God is about to do. I am so not moved by what Satan is doing or what he wants to do. Mm -mm. I am not moved at all because I got all eyes on Jesus. <coughs> I got all eyes on Jesus. God bless you, Sister Teresa. As you join me, please. Help me share this broadcast. Amen. As you join me, get the singles online. Hallelujah. Any excited people in the house today? I see you all coming. I see you all coming. I see you all coming. You are welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on, get excited with me. Are there any excited people in the house today? Be excited, get excited, because God is about to speak to some singles in this place. Hallelujah. God is about to speak to some singles in this place. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to the King of all kings. We thank you, Lord. Help me share this on your timeline. Share wherever you can share. Help me get some people on board. Hallelujah. I'm going to start a watch party over here. So, I am excited. Just waiting for enough people to jump on. And then I begin to share what God has placed upon my heart. Hallelujah. Let me see what's going on here. Glory, glory, it's time. Yes. How many of you believe that it's time for the single? God bless you. Hi, back to you. How many of you believe that it's time for the singles? If you believe it, write it down. I believe it. How many of you believe it's time for the singles? God is doing some great things, I'm telling you. And I don't want any of us to miss it. Don't be familiar in the season. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. I can't say it enough. Don't be familiar in the season. In all things. Believe God. I'm telling you. Because God is about to do some great things. And God is about to surprise a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be surprised by God. And in this time, even in the area of relationships, God is going to be giving guidelines. He's going to be giving inspiration. You will see things in your dreams. God will show you prophetic pictures. God will place things upon your heart. God will place people upon your heart. And you better pay attention. You better pay attention to the leading of the Spirit. Pay attention. To the guidelines that God is giving us in this time. You know, really pay attention. Come on, write it down. Pay attention. I want at least 10 people to write it down. Pay attention. Can you write that down? Pay attention. Because God is going to be giving guidelines. And He's going to be giving a lot of information that we've been asking God. And God is going to answer us. 
But if we don't pay attention, we are going to miss what God is saying. I know I'm talking to somebody. If we don't pay attention, we are going to miss a lot of what God is saying. Is somebody with me today? Why is nobody writing down the comments? Why is nobody responding? Are you guys not hearing me? Yes, pay attention. Come on, right, flow with me. Flow with me today. Pay attention. Pay attention. This is a prophetic word for somebody. Sometimes we think a word has to be so with, with lightning and thunder. But God speaks through the still small voice. Pay attention in this season. Those of you who are looking for partners, those of you believe in God to go from a man to a husband and from a woman or from a single to a wife, pay attention because God is going to begin to speak. Hallelujah. He's going to tell you things. And the only way you're going to gain in paying attention to what heaven is telling you to do hallelujah are you with me and i even love this song by sissy waynans it says more than what i wanted i believe that is where we are in this season when god is going to meet a lot of singles and he's going to begin to give them not what they ask for not only what they ask for but God is going to give them more than what they wanted. Because the Bible says, God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could think or ask. Amen. No matter what you are asking God for, God can do more than that. He can exceed. He can go beyond and above your desires, your needs. Whatever you are asking God for in this season, God is saying to us, I will do more. Come on, write it down. God will do more. Write it down. God will do more. God will do more than what you ask from Him. He will do more than what you ask of Him. God is going to do more than what we ask from Him. That's the season where we are in right now. The season where god does more he does more than we ask for more than we pray for more than we desire god is going to give us more are you with me come on people don't sleep on me write it down more than what i wanted hallelujah write it down more than what i wanted because that is truly 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 what god is about to do Amen. God wants to give us more than what we ask for. But he's only going to do that for those who are paying attention. God will do more, yes. At least I'm happy that at least two people are paying attention. God will do more. Is everybody online paying attention? God will do more. Amen. So, now that I have enough people at least to start, I want to start this broadcast by making a great announcement. You know, yesterday, when I came online, I was so moved by the response of the people. The response of the people yesterday was so great. I came here yesterday if you have not watched that video I did with the singles, please go on my page later and watch it. It will teach you, it will help you, it will guide you and prepare you for the partner, the man or the woman that God has for you in this season. Amen. So please watch the broadcast of yesterday. Watch the replay and become partaker. Of what God has for you in this season. You know, I am a visionary. And when I'm leading the people of God or guiding them, I am always, always thinking 
of different ways to keep helping, to keep investing, to keep sowing into the lives of the people of God. I'm always seeking God for divine direction, you know, divine inspiration to continue investing in the life of the people of God. So what happened yesterday was, while I was here ministering, God was ministering to me. When I began to see the, the responses of the people and how hungry they were and how so many were ignorant in so many ways, I knew that there was a need. Amen. There was a need for me to do something to help Christians, Christian singles, beyond the broadcast that we do, beyond all the other things that we do. I really found out that there was a need that is not being met for Christian singles. So many are not being taught a lot of things that they actually need to be taught. And I want to take it as my responsibility to begin to teach Christian singles and to begin to give them the opportunity not only to be taught, but give them an opportunity to be able to meet each other. Amen. I began to do a research yesterday, even on Facebook, and I found out that there are not many teachings um, about the single issue, you know, and within the body of Christ. There are not many people doing teachings or whatsoever. There are not many people. So I said to myself, since there is a need, I want to take care of that need as I'm being inspired by God. Since there is a lack, I want to create a place to make sure that that lack is taken away. So what God has inspired me to do, I'm not going to be long on this broadcast. It's just to announce the new thing that God wants to do for the single through me. Yesterday night, I sat here as I was inspired by God. And I opened, um, I created a group. And the group is for singles. Amen. It's called Single Mingle Christian Dating Platform. Can somebody write that down? It's called Single Mingle Christian Dating Platform. It's a platform that I've opened right here on Facebook. So you don't have to go anywhere else to be connected. You, if you are a single and you really want to meet other singles to be inspired, because it's not only about singles meeting and mingling and dating platform. I'm going to be teaching without within the platform. I'm going to be giving guidelines. I'm going to be training answering questions to help Christians to come together, now single Christians, to come together, to meet one another, to mingle, and hopefully find a match and get to the arena of dating and hopefully get married. You know, I, 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 am, I am an out-of-the-box kind of minister. You know, I do things that shock people. I do things that people will be like, wow. But that's what it takes to be a shift. Amen. We all can't be doing the same thing. You look at the need. You know, you look at where there is a need. And you do something to take away the need and the body. You bring healing. You give what people need. You bring what is missing. If all of us keep doing the same thing and nobody is looking at this um, arena of single Christians and do something about it. It's not going to go away. Hello? I know this may make some people feel uncomfortable, but you don't understand what it is to be single in the kingdom of God until you've been single for ages and it's like there's no solution. So for those who may be shocked, there are those who don't have the body they don't feel the burden of the millions of Christians in the kingdom who are struggling and nobody is talking to them. 
Nobody is caring for them. Nobody is educating singles in the kingdom. Nobody is advising them. Nobody is hearing the cries of the singles. But God is hearing the singles. And many have been praying for the singles. Many have been crying out like God, do something. Churches don't have programs for singles. Very little. Look around the whole world. You will see very few. When I say few, I mean very, very few single conferences. You will see very few single gatherings. You will see very few singles uh, um, seminars. That's because it's like singles are the forgotten people. They are the forgotten um, uh, uh, um, part of the body of Christ. But they really do exist. It's a real need. It's a real challenge for a lot of singles. Not to know where to go or how to go or where to start. Is anybody with me? It's a real challenge for a lot of singles. And we want to act as if it is a taboo when you begin to make a platform where singles too we have a room. Hello? Is somebody with me? We begin to act as if it is a taboo. But there are many singles struggling. And oftentimes, singles struggle in private. Because people make it to sound as if it is of the flesh. If a single person comes out and say, I am struggle, I'm struggling and I need a partner. Oftentimes it comes from married people. People who are married are the ones who often want to silence single people. And it's funny how those same married people who want to silence single people, they were the ones who did everything in their power to get married. And now they've gotten married, they've forgotten how it used to be when they were single. They don't want to put themselves in the shoes of the single people and they tell you, oh, just wait upon the Lord. Oh, just wait. Just wait. Just wait upon the Lord. Oh, it's okay. Just focus on Jesus. As long as you have Jesus, you are okay. The devil is a liar. We have Jesus as spirit, as our Lord and Savior. Not our physical husband. It is God himself who decided to make the spiritual and the physical. So how are you going to be telling somebody the physical when God himself is the one who created the physical? Is somebody with me today? When God himself is the one who created the physical. God brought the balance between spirit and the natural. But we want to become deeper than God himself who created everything. God is the, 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 the bridegroom. Christ is the bridegroom of the bride, the church. But it has never been God's plan to make um, you or I or, um, or me his physical partner. It's not, it's not the, the way God intended it to be. So you can't claim God as your husband in that sense. He is the husband of the bride, the total package of the body of Christ. Are you with me? An individual is not the church. Together we are the church. That's the mistake a lot of Christians make. They say, oh, you are the church. No, we are the church. The church is not consists of one person. The church is a body of people. God bless you, Onika. The church is a body of the gathering of all the believers makes the church. Not one person. So God does not want to be married to one person. Christ is married to the church, not to you as an individual. And what God gives to an individual in that holy covenant is a man to a wife. Or a wife to a husband. So let's stop confusing people. Let's stop confusing Christians. Let's stop confusing the body of Christ. Let's be honest and face the fact. That people are suffering. suffering. People are in a mess. 
There are a lot of people fornicating. There are a lot of single women, Christians, fornicating. Because after they've been single for so long, and their emotional need that comes from a partner is not being met. Their physical needs that come from a partner is not being met. Somehow they're going to have a loophole and the enemy is going to play on that. And before you know, a man or a woman who does not want to fornicate because of the tension upon them, their bodies, their minds, and whatever, the society, they get connected to somebody. And before you know, guess what? They are fornicating. They are doing everything that God told them not to do. They are doing everything that they didn't want to do. But that's because there was a lack. That's because there was a lack somewhere. And there was no fulfillment. Does this make sense to anybody? To anybody? There was no fulfillment. And once there is a loophole, what the devil does is he comes into that place and he begins to attack you in your emotions, in your mind. There are people, especially women, who don't want to fornicate, but because of the financial struggle, which is real, they still go and do what they said they were not going to do. They still go and begin to fornicate because they want somebody to take care of them. They need somebody to help them and to support them. Does this, come on somebody, don't leave me here alone in the cold, not saying anything. Don't leave me here in the cold, not saying anything. Let's be real in the house of God. So the need is real. Hello? The need, the struggle is real. It's not something that people are just making up. It is a real situation. And you cannot take a real situation without giving a real so a solution. For every real situation, there must be a real solution. Come on, somebody help me write that down. Somebody write that down. For every real problem, there must be a real solution. Somebody needs to write that down. For every real problem, there must be a real solution. I need at least 20 people to write that down. For every real situation, there must be a real solution. Are you with me today? There must be a real so solution. If you are joining me, please help me to share this broadcast. Please help me to share this broadcast because I always come online and I put my neck on the line to help many. So the least that all of us can do is to help support me by sharing. Amen. We need to break the limitations. We need to stop the, 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 the lying. We need to come out of the closet. I always say it. We need to take off the mask and be real. People would rather be fornicating in private, pretending to be holy, than to come out and be real and say, I really have this situation. I am single and it's not working for me. I need a man. I need a woman. Are you with me? And we can't give the solution by hiding and pretending. As if the problem is not there. We must be transparent. Amen. We must be honest. Until you are honest. Even when you go to a doctor. The doctor will interview you. And the doctor wants you to tell the truth. The doctor will want you to tell the truth. Is somebody with me today? The doctor will always expect you to tell the truth. Not to manipulate him and lie. If you have headache, you can't go to the doctor and say that you have foot pain. You must say you have headache. That's the truth. That you are being honest about the situation. Hello? 
Be honest. When you've been single long enough, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't work anymore to pretend that, oh, the Lord is my husband. No, the Lord is not your husband. He's your heavenly father, your Lord, and your savior. And he is a bridegroom to the church, the bride. The collective um, body of believers. Not one person. It's a wrong thing to say, I am the church. No. If you are the church, then you might have where be at home and don't go to any church, never. But the church is a collection of people together. That makes the church. You be in your house, you are not a church. You are a Christian at home. And God is not married to a Christian. He is not a husband of the only part the Bible says that he is a husband to the widows. But if you are not a widow, why are you claiming God to be your husband? If you are not a widow, why are you claiming what was meant for widows? And when God says he's a husband to the widows, he's not talking that he's married to them in that sense. It means that he will provide for them. He will cover them. He will protect them. He takes the role of a husband in their life. Is somebody with me today? So stop claiming what God did not give you to claim and remain in your bondage. Many people can't even go to God and pray for real. Because you are praying out of a, 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 a wrong kind of doctrine. You are praying behind the mask. But God wants to come to wants us to come to Him as we are naked, humble, transparent, and open. God already knows what we need. He knows the struggle, but He wants to hear it from us. That's why God will ask a question like, Will you want to be made whole? Why will God ask somebody, Will you want to be made whole? When it's very obvious that when you come to him, you want to be made whole. That's because people can go to God and not really want what they know, they, they, what they should want. So God is like, do you really want this? Or are you still pretending? Asking God for one thing, when in your heart, you want a different thing. God is not going to look at what comes out of your mouth. But he's looking at the content of your heart, the heart desire. So if what is coming out of your mouth does not match what is in your heart, God is not going to move because there is no agreement between what you feel and what you say. There must be agreement between what you feel in your heart, you desire, and what comes out because the mouth must speak out of the abundance of the heart. But if the heart is saying one thing and the mouth is camouflaging and pretending and saying another thing, God says you are not ready. You are not ready. So that's why, God bless you, Sister Pamela, that's why I am encouraging singles this year, be real. Be real, singles. What do you want? Yesterday, I gave a teaching from A to Z for singles. So if you have not watched that video of yesterday, you will do yourself good to go and watch it and receive it and practice it and pray along with it. I promise you what I thought the singles yesterday, you will not see it or get it anywhere. I gave guidelines out of truth. Amen. So because I want to help singles um, find a place where they can be themselves and speak, pray, get what they want. I have created a platform. I have created a platform. The platform is called Single Mingle Christian Dating platform somebody writes that i've created a platform that you need to become if you are a single person 
you need to become part of this platform because with this platform we are going to do a lot somebody write it down single mingle christian dating platform amen single mingle christian dating platform is a platform that i will like all christians if you know christians in your church your neighborhood your friends encourage them to become part of this platform i created this platform last night because i was saying god what should i do to really help christians to meet each other because there is no need the bible says nobody lights a lamp and put it underneath the table no you put it on the lampstand sorry where the light will shine for all to see there are many singles they are everywhere but nobody knows where they are you are single and christians don't go nowhere beside church hello am i telling the truth christians don't go nowhere besides church and in church they still don't mingle because it's a holy barrier between you and other singles the men are afraid to approach the women the women are afraid to approach the men hello am i talking to somebody am i helping somebody here no this is on facebook this is on facebook i left it on facebook because i wanted it to be a place hence to just jump on amen i didn't want to take it far let me look for the link you need to be there i want all single men to be part of this platform and i encourage single women to be part of the platform let me see if i can find the link so that you can go there and register because christians we need to singles you need to meet each other some people don't even tell the truth on facebook they don't tell the truth that they are single or whatever on facebook you know so you don't even know who is a single for real i don't know who is faking it so the best way to connect i have pinned the the link the link is there i've pinned the link of the page of the group is a group i've put the description i've put the rules of the group i am personally going to be coaching singles in that group if we have enough people to join the group men and women and they begin to connect and they begin to maybe find somebody they like i will personally want to be the coach they can ask me questions within the group when they begin to date or whatever and i will coach them and give them guidelines i will direct them to their churches their pastors but it's going to start from that platform at least single women can share experiences in the group single men can share experiences there's going to be a chat page also within the group that we can chat together there will be people chatting with each other and we can answer questions so weekly i'm going to see how many people are going to join the group hopefully all of us can start promoting the group amen if you share the group on your timeline and encourage other singles to join men and women we can start to get the platform built up because i really want to support singles and get them to a place where they can meet people discuss the things that single single people struggle with amen so that we can talk together and who knows you may find somebody you like in the group you know and you begin to date you go and meet your pastors or i can coach you and you can move forward like that because where else are you going to have a secure safe place and because there is a guideline within the group when people send requests to join the group i'm going to check out their facebook profile to see if they are real christians to see if they are safe to bring put in the group so at least it's not going to be a group that everybody just joins there's going to be a background check by myself and as the group grows 
That's my faith. As the group grows, I will want to get somebody else to assist me within the group so that we can check things to make sure that those who are in the group are safe and their privacy is kept. Is anybody excited? Hello? Is anybody excited about this? Is this something you say, Apostle, we really need this? Because there are no places for singles to meet. Churches have almost put a taboo on singles like they are these disease-cursed people. But I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of the Lord Jesus. Singles matter. Singles are important. Singles should be taught. Singles should be coached. God has even given me a vision. And I'm going to discuss that with my church. And we're going to do something really great to really help singles. Amen. We are going to do something that nobody in Holland, I've not seen it anywhere in Europe. And God has planted that in my heart to do for singles. And by the grace of God, I'm going to do it. And I see it really, really helping a lot of singles. Is somebody with me? Singles need to be thought. They need to be supported. They need to be reached out to. They need to be comfortable. That's why yesterday broadcast, I said that every single should write down, I am important. God is concerned about singles. That's why he released me to do this. Please help me share this broadcast if you have not shared. I want everybody to share this broadcast on your timeline, your groups, because God is concerned about the singles. And the church has been lying to singles. They keep telling you God is your husband. Jesus is your husband. It's a lie. When was the last time you had sex with Jesus? It will be perversion to even do that. Jesus is a spirit. God is a spirit. He never meant for you to have sex with him physically. So how in the world will somebody open their big mouth and say, Jesus is your husband, and they're keeping you in bondage, and you are saying, yes, Jesus, Jesus is not your husband. He's your Lord and Savior. He's a Messiah. He is your Messiah. Hello, somebody. Let's begin to cancel the lie and all these things that will make people to be in bondage. It's not scriptural to say Jesus is your husband. You have the audacity to say you are the church. You are not the church. If you are the church, why is God asking you to go to church? It's like saying go to yourself. The church is a collective body of many Christians. It starts with two. Because Jesus says, we're two or three. So at least the least is to be two people before you can call the church. The church is a gathering. The body of Christians in one place. That's why Jesus, God says, do not be away from the gathering of the brethren. Because you have to be part of the church and be in the church. The family of Christians coming together is called a church. The collection of Christians, the whole body is a church. Not just one part. You are just a part of the church. But you are not the church. Jesus have mercy. And they use these teachings... To keep Christians, I mean Christian singles, in bondage. They keep you in bondage. And you are not talking about Jesus is my husband. When was the last time you came to your house and Jesus gave you a cup of tea? Hello, singles. And the married people who are saying Jesus is the husband of the singles. When was the last time? Jesus drove your car for you and took you somewhere. When was the last time? 
When was the last time you came to your house, you opened the door, and Jesus said, oh, you are back home, welcome. How was your day? Hello? That's because he's not your husband. He's not going to be in your house physically with you. But Jesus wants to give every single person a physical husband and a physical wife. That's the plan. Jesus went to the wedding. His first miracle was performed at a wedding. Why was he in town and people were getting married? Why didn't he just become the husband of the woman and the husband of the man? So if Jesus is a husband of the women, who is the wife of the men? Do you see how twisted Christians are? If Jesus, because he's a male, is a husband of the women, what about the single men? Is Jesus their husband too? Jesus is not gay. Hello? Jesus is not gay. That's why he has a bride, the church, female. So individually, we are not married to Jesus. So if we are married individually to Jesus, it means also all you men, Jesus is your husband. Or is he your wife? Does it make sense to you? People remove your, 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 the, the things they've used to, the bewitchment from your mind and use your mind, your brain and your senses. Then your mind, your brain, and your senses. Is it the same? Use all of it. Use it to think. Use it to think. Jesus is not my husband. He is my Lord, my Savior, my King, my Provider. Everything in the Spirit. And in the natural he wants to bless me. That's why he gives us blinders. That's a good word. That's why I like people who have sense on my broadcast. You see, I was looking for a word and she just put it there. Blinders. Remove the blinders. Remove the blinders. Jesus is everything to me in the spirit. And he wants to provide everything I need in the natural. That's why he gives the word. We are fed by the word of God. But who can re be reading the Bible? If you become so deep and you read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, from January to December, before February, you will die if you don't eat natural food. Go and try it. If you become too deep, try to become even deeper than Jesus himself. And you say you want to live only on the spiritual food, prayer and fasting, and read the word of God. God bless you. But you are going to die a holy Christian before your time. You're going to die. I mean, your breath is going to flop. Leave you and you going to die because your physical body needs physical food. For a moment, giving yourself to fasting, the power of God can sustain you. But after a while, to bring the right balance of the spiritual and the physical, you will need to eat fufu, rice, yams, plantains, cassava, potatoes, green beans, oranges, you know, different fruits, drink water, juice, whatever. If you say no, my food is only the word of God, you're going to read the word of God and die. That's the truth. So it's the same with Christian singles. Let's accept the fact that there is a lack. Until you acknowledge that it's a problem, you will not even ask for help. Jesus Christ. Is anybody helping me with this broadcast today? Because I feel like people, when I put up single, mingle, Christian, um, dating platform, 
Some people were like, <gasps> yes, we're going there. We're going to break the prison box and come out. We're going to break the barrier and come out. I want all Christians to become part of this platform. It's going to bless you. When you become part of this platform, that's the link right there. When you become part of this platform, I've already put the instructions in the group. You're going to create a small space, put your picture there. Hi. Put your beautiful picture there. Yes. Showcase yourself. And write your profile. Write your, your profile, what you want, what you need, what you like, what you don't like. Make it cute so that other people in the group can see. We don't permit homosexual activities in the group. Yes, I said it. We don't permit it. It's my group led by God. I decide what happens there. If you are homosexual, I am sorry you cannot become part of the group. It's not discrimination. Every house has their own rules. Amen. We want men to engage women and women engage men. We don't want men to be with men and women to be with women. It's not the will of God. It's against the will of God. So if you are a gay person, single, I am sorry because we want to keep this group. For those who are straight, you cannot be part of this group. I love gay people. I pray for them. I reach out to them. I don't believe in bullying gay people. I don't believe in beating them because it's not of God to, to, to harm any human being. They have a real struggle and they need Jesus. They need deliverance. But it doesn't give anybody the right to touch them in any wrong way, insult them. You are not to roll your eyes on them, embrace them, love them. But because of the purpose of what I'm trying to do in this group, I'm just saying, my gay brothers and gay sisters, because I want the group, it should be for heterosexuals. Please, you will not be part of this group. Is somebody with me? You will not be part of this group. If I be in the group and I see any wrong activities of any person, that person shall be plucked out of the group. Not because I hate you, but because of the direction God gives me for this group. Every group or every house, every company, every organization has their own rules and a particular vision and what they want within that vision. That's the only reason. But if you have any other need, you can contact me. You can talk with me. I want to guide you. Because I just want to keep the group for straight people. Men will want women. Women will want men. And we don't want anybody to be rude. It's not going to be a group that you are going to be rude or be disrespectful. Amen. We don't want people to be rude in this group. So I'm going to, there are laws and regulations within this group to make it safe for everybody. Amen. All single women, be part of this platform. I am going to send the link one more time. That's the link. I've just sent the link. Click on that link or the link is attached to this broadcast. Click on the link and send your request and your registration to this platform. Amen. Become part of the single mingle Christian dating platform. And when you become a member, I encourage you to post your picture and next to your picture, on top of your picture, put your profile Write your name, maybe your age, what you like. I will send a link to your group later, please. I will send a link to your page, um, Samuel Prince Prince. I will send it to you. Amen. I see your comments, but I cannot send it now because I'm still here. When you 
when you become part of the group, amen, when you become part of the group, send in your picture, post your picture on the, in the group with your name, maybe your age, your country, the things you like, the things you don't like, what you are looking for, what you are expecting from the group, and just be nice. Amen? I check the pictures and the profile of people and their description before I approve it in the group. Are you with me? I check everything. I check the pictures. I check the background of the people. I check everything before I approve anything or anyone in the group. But in as much as I'm going to be checking things and checking backgrounds and checking people, I'm still leaving the rest of the responsibility in your hands in how in terms of how you you interact with the people. Amen. In terms of how you yourself interact. When you are in a group, you can't just give. If somebody says, oh, they want to connect with you, you can't just go on their inbox, on their messenger, and begin to say everything about yourself. In the group, I've given some guidelines, and I'm going to be coaching in the group. I'm going to be teaching in the group. So those who are in the group, they have also my support. If you meet somebody, you can always tell me, uh, what do you think, Apostle? How can you help? So whatever I can do to make sure that you are safe, I will do my part. But still, you are required to use wisdom. You are required to be mature, follow the Holy Spirit, and be discerning. Amen? Don't meet somebody in the group. The group was just set up last night. So I think I have like almost 30 people who have sent the request to be part of the group the last time I checked. But I haven't approved everybody yet because I still need to check them. I think I've just approved one person so far in the group because I already know this person. There are people that I already know them, so I don't need to do um, a lot of background check. Amen. There are people that I already know, so I don't need to do a kind of heavy background check on them. Are you with me? So it's going to be a great group. And I want you to go and sign up now. Sign up. The earlier we sign up and help me share it with your friends. Amen. Share the groups. Um, you can share the group also on your timeline. You can share it in your groups. If you know single platforms. There are a lot of single platforms. But they are not really um, active in this way. Okay, somebody said you don't see them. This is the link. So I'm sending those. People are already asking me where is the link. So this is the link. You can use the link to sign up. Hallelujah. Fast about it to prosper. So this is the link. You can become part of what God is doing. I am so interested with, with Christians, amen, who are single. And I really want to be part of their journey. I really want to be part of their journey. So we are going to have fun in this group. And I believe it's going to grow. I believe a lot of people are going to become part of it. Because you really need a place to meet other sing singles and under the spirit and the umbrella of God. A lot of times people connect with people on online and you don't have no real guidelines. But this time we're going to try to give the guidelines. We are going to work together. We are going to keep our eyes open together in the group so that if we see anything and we suspect anybody of doing something wrong or we dissent something, all of us can look into that and take the right decision how many of you are excited about this let me see if you are excited about this amen how many people say apostle i'm excited about this 
how many people are excited personally i am excited you know god is a god who gives vision when you pray about something and you have the burden this idea came out of the burden i have for singles when you have a true burden about something god will give you the solution if he can trust you i am excited and blessed honored and humble at the same time that god will trust me with such a task amen i've been decreeing this year from the beginning of this year that 2019 is the year for the christian singles this year amen many single christians are going to find their mate this year how many of you believe it you know if i was talking to married people they'll be excited but it's like singles have lost their excitement god is finally showing his face to shine upon singles but it's like singles are not they are not really there they are not really excited they are not ready it's like a spirit of unbelief is still upon single people and it shouldn't be like that because god is really really you see sister kimberly says i have been praying about this for a month for months somebody else also wrote me this morning time that they are happy about the single mingle platform because they too have been praying about it so whenever you see god answering a prayer he is giving this kind of solution it means there are people who have been praying amen there are people who have been praying so their answer came as a result of the prayer of the saints that's why we have the answer now amen so i just came online to announce this new development and i'm going to speak with my church and i have a big surprise for all singles starting this year when god showed me that thing i was like my god my god this is really god and i believe it's going to bless a lot of singles because we need to prepare okay somebody said that they prayed for marriage over three years this is a year for god to answer you this year if you are serious and committed and focused god is going to really answer those prayers of the single people i mean like christian singles who are ready because you can be single and think you want to be married but the question is are you ready are you ready how ready are you please watch the video i did last night okay i did a powerful video it's on this page i did it yesterday i thought both single men and single women i went deep into that one i'm telling you i went really really deep and god is going to answer you as you watch that video you meditate upon the words you receive the prophetic words the prayer and you pray along god is going to do something wonderful amen anybody blessed so far i didn't want to stay long today because my assignment was to announce the single mingle christian dating platform that was the purpose of this broadcast and also of course to encourage singles amen this is your year that's what i wrote on the comment um the title of this broadcast i did put weddings 2019 hello oh this blessed you god bless you too i am really excited i'm really really excited may god bless singles i'm really crying out for the singles for god to bless them really because being a woman 
a minister of the gospel who's been without a partner also for about 16 years. I can write a book. I can really write a book on this topic. I can really write a book. So why I'm so passionate about this? Because I've been there myself. I'm still there myself. Amen. So I understand what singles are going through. I totally understand. I can feel every heartbeat of every Christian. I can feel it. Amen. I can feel the body, the pain, the struggles, everything that Christians go through as singles. I can feel it because I've been in that same boat for over 16 years. You understand? It takes the grace of God to be a Christian single and survive well in the will of God. So I don't listen to people who just say, forget the singles, let them wait upon the Lord. Some be waiting. There are singles who have been waiting for 20 years. I've spoken to singles who have been waiting for 20 years, 15, 16, 10, 5, 7 years. You know, you name it. Do you think it's easy? It's easy for a married person to say, oh, wait upon the Lord, wait upon your time, wait upon this and wait upon that. One minute, somebody's on my door. Sorry, I received a package from the United Kingdom. I ordered some books, prophetic, powerful books, and it just came back today. I mean, it just came in today. Amen? So, when you see me doing something like this platform, I know some people cannot even share the platform. They can't share the link of the group. They can like it. It's like, normally when I post something, People will like it and share it. But since yesterday, I've been sharing the, the page, the, the group. And I said to people, please share. Nobody shared it. Because Christians are so religious and they're afraid. Like, oh, it's a cursed thing that just came up. Are you with me? It's like, oh, how can we do this? How can we do that? They are looking at it like, what is she doing now again? Doing the work of God, setting the captive free, encouraging the people of God, building them up, helping them. That's what she's doing. I think about these things. I don't just jump and do them. I prayerfully consider it. And I say, okay, God, how am I going to do this? Of course, whenever you start anything, you need to grow into it. But you can never allow the feelings of what people may say or may think to hinder you when God says move. When God says move, you just move. Let people talk. Let people think. Amen? Let people say what they want to say. Your own part is to move in obedience when God says to do a particular thing. You move in obedience. And let the world begin to think like, or oh, the church, what is she doing now again? On Monday, my church was fasting for marriages, and God told me to fast for your friends and family marriages. I said, Lord, I'm not married. He said, intercede for those who are married. That's it. Obedience. So I am not crazy doing this single mingle Christian dating platform. It's a need. Whenever there is a need, God will assign somebody. God bless you, Pastor Ad, Apostle Adam. Whenever there is a need, God will assign somebody who dare. A lot of people will not dare to do a thing like this. My God, you are an apostle and platform. What's wrong with you? Nothing. 
<laughs> Nothing is wrong with me. That's how bold I am. I can do. If God says jump, uh, God told the prophet to walk around naked for three years. Yep. God told a prophet, his prophet, to walk around for three years. God told his prophet to marry a prostitute. God will give you assignments that people will look at you to be foolish. But you have to do it. God told the other one to lay only on their side. God gives instructions to those who are listening. And he can only give you such instructions. If he already knows who you are, he knows you are bold. He knows you are crazy enough to do crazy things. Do you think God would tell anybody to do single mingle Christian dating platform? God knows I'm crazy like that. He knows his children and he knows which one to choose for every assignment. God knows. In the time where everything was going bad. God told his prophet to buy the to buy the things, to buy the land. To buy things in that place. Who does that? God will tell you to do things that don't make sense. In the time of famine, God will say, hey, buy the land, buy the well, buy this and buy that. You are thinking, Lord, what am I buying it for? Why am I buying the field in such a time? And God will say, buy it. Invest in it when everybody is running away from it. Walk around naked. Marry a prostitute. Lay on your side. God will tell you to do great things that you are thinking. God will tell you to do things that people will look at you to be really, really silly. But we really don't care. Amen. So please join the single, all singles. Like I said before, it's for straight singles. It's not for our gay sisters or gay brothers. You are not allowed to join the group because God didn't give me that instruction. Because it's a different dimension to be counseling and putting things in order if we do that. It's not hatred. It's just the instructions I have. And I want to keep the group for people who are going to marry according to the plan and the will of God. I do not believe in gay marriage. I love gay people. But I believe every gay person needs to be delivered, be set free. Every gay man should be delivered and set free. And when the time to marry comes, they should marry a woman, not a man. I believe every gay woman should be delivered, set free. When the time to get married comes, they should be married to a man and not a woman. These are my beliefs. Has nothing to do with hatred, has to do with truth and the will of God. I know even Christians now, when you talk about the sin of gay, they call you hatred. You people trifling. You people crazy. You crazy. The word of God is the word of God. But do I think a gay person should be bullied, hated, um, beaten up? No. You don't do that to nobody. To nobody. No one is perfect. You don't do that to nobody. You don't do that to nobody. You don't bad mouth a. Gay. You don't. You, you don't. You, you don't. You don't throw stones at a gay person. But because I believe in man marrying woman, woman marrying man, I will prefer not to have our gay sisters and gay brothers in this group. Amen. Any questions? Any question? I saw yesterday on Instagram, Bishop T.D. Jakes put up something very great because a gay person was beaten. 
a gay guy was badly meeting and he was saying it's not okay and i also say it's not okay if he was beaten just because he's gay i say it's not okay but i don't know the other circumstances around the whole situation so a lady a woman of god went there and said the people who beat up the guy are wrong but um, homosexuality is a sin against God. So they need to correct the guy and get him healed, fixed, delivered. Christians from all over jumped on this woman, cursing her. I mean, this woman got so persecuted just for speaking the truth. Just for speaking the truth. I didn't say her, I didn't see her speaking any hateful thing or bad thing, but just because she mentioned that they should also help the guy and make him know that he can be delivered. This woman got persecuted. And it makes me sick that Christians, if the world does that, I know okay, they are the world, they have their own standard. But it makes me sick that Christians will persecute other Christians for speaking the word of God. Is a truth in the word of God. Amen. So we shouldn't we shouldn't take these things to me. I don't believe in abusing anybody in any way or form. No. But also the Bible has standards. Amen. So how many of you are going to sign up for the single mingle dating Christian dating platform? Sign up today, amen. Don't let nothing hinder you. Sign up today and um, share the group with other people. Some of them are secretly gay. It's possible. Watching from India, God bless you. God bless you. I really want us to join together, lock hands with me, and share this group, amen. Share this group. Since I post, I've posted this group so many platforms. Nobody is liking it. Nobody is sharing it. That told me how much Christians are afraid and hiding behind the closet. They would rather have singles struggling than to see them. Yes, yeah, Sister Kimberly is already part of the group. She signed up this morning time. I'm going to check the group because so many people sent a request this morning. When I woke up, I was impressed. I was impressed by the amount of people who have sent their requests be added to the group. What, I, what do you mean single and mingle? Did she just come online? Sister Patience, are you just joining us? I've been explaining it since for almost an hour. Single and mingle means there is a platform that I have created for singles to come together and meet men and women. How do you sign up? Okay, you go to the group, I put the link there. The link is attached to this podcast. Let me send it one more time. That's the link right there. I've just sent the link. You tap on that link. You click on the link. It will bring you to the group. And then when you come there, you will see instructions. You just follow the instructions. And you become part of the group. When you send a request to be added to the group, you will see a drop down instruction follow the instruction become part of a group for those who want to join though there is a 30 euros or 36 dollars one time fee it's a very small price to pay for a group like this that may become the biggest blessing it's the biggest 
You know, it's a small seed to sow for something that can become your greatest blessing. So don't let the 30 euros hinder you or the 36 dollars. You can send it through my PayPal. Or if you live in Holland, you can send it through my bank account. Ask for my bank account and I will send it to you through Messenger. Your privacy will be kept. It's a closed group. Let me make that clear. It's not a public group. I will, I will, I will connect with you and patience. Amen. After the broadcast, I will see how to help you to connect. It's a closed group. So your privacy is protected. Amen. It's a closed group. Only those who know about the group will see the group and be part of the group. It's a closed group. So everybody cannot jump in and see what you are doing is locked, is private. Whatever you put in the group stays private to the world. Only those who are in the group can see whatever you put in the group. And nobody is allowed to share anything out of the group, outside the group. Everything remains in the house. So those are the rules in the house. Amen. Because I want Christians to feel free, the singles to feel free, but everything is going to be I am living in country UK London. Okay, you can you can also still send your your registration through PayPal. You can use PayPal to send your thirty six dollars or or thirty euros. It's a one time fee to join and be a, and be blessed. Amen. It's a one time fee. And who knows what is going to happen? No, everything is, is private. It's not public. I forgot to say that before. Everything in the group is private. Nothing is going to be shown outside the group. I already have some rules in the group. The group rules. And I'm the one managing the group. So I'm going to keep my eyes really close to how people interact with other if people see anything strange okay i will send you the paper let me um paste my paper here for those who want to let me send where is my paper um let me see. So I'm going to send. Somebody is asking for the PayPal. So this is a PayPal um, copy. So this is it. Brother Samuel, this is a PayPal. So click on this PayPal and you can send in your Thanks for sharing, Sister Pamela. I am so excited about what God is doing right now. So for a seed of 30, or not, not a seed, it's, regi it's registration for 30 euros or 30, six dollars, you can become part of it so what you are going to do send me a, a, a send me registration um request and then i'm going to follow up with you somebody is asking me a question uh what did they say somebody just asked a question i don't see where it is Yes, everything I do, I have to be instructed by the Holy Spirit. I'm not a woman of the flesh. So, I'm patient and right. If you want to know everything, I think you came late. So, the questions you are asking now, I've already answered them before you joined this broadcast. So, to know about what I've been sharing, 
um, somewhere Prince says, how much money? It's 30 euros or, 30, or 36 dollars. Amen. 30 euros or 36 dollars. Somewhere Prince, you can send 30 euros through PayPal or 36 dollars. So let me go back to beloved patience, right? Please and patience to um, get all the instructions and the vision and the idea where it came from and everything. I encourage you to watch this broadcast. Watch the replay because everything you are asking now, I've already shared that from the beginning. I shared a lot step by step from the beginning before you came on. Okay? So I hope that helps. Anybody, any more questions? Amen. God bless you, Samuel. Any more questions from anybody? So where is the link? I'm going to send the link one more time for those who want the link. Um, where is the link again? Um, 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 let me check. So I'm going to share the link one more time. So go to this. The link is attached on this broadcast though. It's pinned. Go to this link. And register. Okay, so I've sent the link one more time. God bless you, patience. God bless you. Amen. I will never do anything in the flesh. I'm a woman of God, so that one you can't forget it. I'm very strict in a lot of things. Any questions? If we don't have questions, then I think I'm done for today. If there are no more questions, I think I'm done for today. Jesus is the answer. I'm waiting for your questions. So I came on today, I was playing this song. Is by Sissy Winans. I'm really, really excited. Let me send. People are saying they're not seeing the link, but the link is there.
Jesus. Any questions? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. And if you need any more um, answers to your questions, do not hesitate to meet me. I mean, to meet me on my messenger and ask your questions. Amen. Bye for today. And by the grace of God, I see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.